This is the best fitness podcast out. Stab it. Y'all, in, y'all influencers with a bigger following than me. I see y'all copying my shit and reacting to the same shit I'm doing, but I'm going to take it as a compliment. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy C. Marty Fit, and we back here with another episode on the Let's Brunches More Crunches podcast. Listen, man, it is Wednesday evening, and... Yo, this week has been crazy already on Wednesday. And most of the stuff happened today and last night. <laughs> Come on, man. First off, man, we, we, we just going to make two quick announcements before we get into the show. Because the show crazy today. It, it, it's, it's one of them days. It's, it, it's one of them. It's one of them days. But anyway, man, two things, man. First thing, I'm walking to the car in the parking lot after my morning sessions. And this girl stopped me talking about stop fat shaming. Listen, man, so look, we, we going back and forth. I'm not going to get into detail. I'm going to just keep it short. You know, may, maybe I'll go into detail another time. But look, if you feel like I'm fat shaming, you don't like my coaching style, this is what you could do. You start a podcast, you build your audience, and you show me how to do it and surpass my following and monetize it and not shut up. But if you ain't doing that, I don't want to hear none of that in person, man. Go to the gym and get your workout in. Second announcement. So, you've seen, if you've watched the show, I have guests on my show uh, from time to time. Uh, I have two episodes with guests. And... um, you know, I'm going to have more, but, uh, you know, I got to build this podcast. I got to give people a reason to want to come on. I got to, you know, I'm putting the legwork in. And so I got a DM of a podcast manager for some guy. I don't even know who the dude is, but he asked to come on my podcast. And, and, and uh, you know, so I was going to talk to the dude to see if he was a fit for my podcast. Why they hit me back talking about, oh, yeah, um. We're going to cancel the meeting. He feels like he, he's, you're not a good fit for him to be featured on your podcast. <laughs> Excuse me? What? Listen, bro. Listen, man. This is my shit, okay? How you going to tell me I'm not a good fit for you to be featured on? I'm doing you a favor. And I went to his page. He had a thousand followers. <laughs> what, you doing, what you doing for me? Man, look. But let's get into the show, bro. <laughs> Let's go, man. I'm, I'm hot today, man. <laughs> but anyway, we got y'all favorite celebrity. Shout out Lizzo one time. Listen, man. I love Lizzo, bro. I got nothing but love for Lizzo, bro. I know y'all think I don't like her. I ain't got nothing but love and respect for Lizzo, man. That's 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 my dog, bro. <laughs> you know. Listen. We're we going to talk about why I love Lizzo so much in a second, man. Anyway, you got to be kidding me, bro. So Lizzo is allegedly, no, not allegedly, Lizzo is being sued for alleged um, uh, body shaming. Well, well, first of all, she's being sued for a lot of debaucherous things. This is a fitness podcast, so we're going to keep it fitness. But uh, she's being sued for body shaming her dancers. <laughs> I find that odd. I find that really odd. So, and again, this is alleged. It's not. It's it's not certain. It's not for sure. The details didn't come out yet. So, what I'm not. I'm not gonna accuse her of anything. I'm just telling the story that's being told on these articles. Let's pull up the articles. We got uh, this one. I just I just uh, uh, cropped it out because we don't need to see the whole article. But this one is from CNN, this short paragraph. If you listen on Apple Podcasts, listen up, pay attention. Another plaintiff claims that her commitment to her role on the dance team was questioned by the singer who expressed thinly veiled concerns about the plaintiff's weight gain, according to the lawsuit, resulting in the plaintiff feeling pressured to explain her weight gain and disclose intimate personal details about her life in order to keep her job. So Lizzo out here 
asking her dancers why did they get fat? Nope. I find that funny because she's an advocate for body positivity. But I got another paragraph we're going to read. Let's check it out. The dancers accused Lizzo, a performer known for embracing body positivity and celebrating her physique, of calling attention to one's dancer's weight gain and later berating then firing that dancer after she recorded a meeting because of a health condition. So, man, look, look, man, Lizzo's a savage. She's a savage. How about that? But y'all told me to leave her alone and let her live when I did a video on her saying that she's not in the same shape as a linebacker. I wasn't even saying nothing bad about the girl. All I said was she's not in the same shape as a linebacker because she's not. And whoever thinks that is delusional. But what did y'all do? Y'all reported my TikTok and almost got my account banned. Which is crazy that y'all go so hard for her and she fat shaming people. She probably fat shaming y'all fat ass that was mad at my post. <laughs> crazy. People coming at me in, in the gym, leave her alone, don't do any more videos about her, this and that, multiple people. And I was like, look, look, I'm on there. Telling the truth, I ain't saying nothing bad about the girl. I said, I love Lizzo, and I'm not lying, yo. I, I ain't got nothing but respect for Lizzo, bruh. I hope I can chop it up with her one day. We're going to have a good talk. But anyway. <laughs> anyway, man. But look. It's just crickets when Lizzo's doing the same thing. It's like nobody wants to believe it. I saw a few comments yesterday. No, I don't believe it. I'm not going to see I'm not going to uh, believe it till I see it, till it comes out as true. Crazy. Now, this same woman body shames her dancers. And let's check out what kind of stuff. We're not going to go too deep into this. But let's check out what kind, what kind of stuff Lizzo was posting and how hard she was going for body shaming. Let's take a look at it. Heavy on the not trying to escape fatness. Heavy on it. Just thinking about my body and like the environment and i think a lot of people see a fat person that way and immediately just assume everything they're doing is to be thin i'm not trying to be thin i don't ever want to be thin will my body fluctuate from this size will i get a little smaller depending on some of the choices i make or a little bigger depending on some of the choices i make in my life yes i'm used to fluctuating however the goal is always here once I started working out for mental health um, to have balanced mental health for endorphins so that I don't look at myself in the mirror and feel ashamed of myself and feel disgusted with myself, exercise has helped me shift my mind, not my body. My body is going to change. Everyone's bodies change. That's life. That's what the human existence is. Human experience is. You a baby and your body continues to change forever until it stops. And it's going to keep changing after that, too, because you're going to be dust. But <laughs> embracing the fact that your body changes, that's a part of it. And making sure that this is what we have the power over. Everything I eat, everything I do, everything, every time I move my body, it's all for this. Because if this ain't happy, none of this is happy. So it's funny how... When I advocated for fitness being great for mental health and I supported the article this, that was scientifically researched that said uh, exercise is great for mental health, y'all tore me down, called me all types of stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a doctor, but y'all queen says it, y'all support it, but the whole time she calling people fat. So I, I honestly don't even believe she was exercising consistently to begin with. I really don't believe that. She's a hell of a performer. She does great on stage. I'm sorry. As far as exercise and then the eating clean to go with it, I don't believe it. Like I really think for you to advocate for body positivity and then shame your dancers for gaining weight, I think there's a mental health issue there. So, I don't believe she's work, and I, working out, and I don't believe she's truly happy with herself. 
Um, that's just my observation. I could be completely wrong, but how often am I wrong? <laughs> we wrapping this up. But it's funny how everyone says that she's not guilty. She didn't do this. They don't believe it, right? And now this is the this is the fitness podcast. I'm not going to say names, but recently there was a fit man who got accused of some stuff, which turned out not to be true. But they called men for believing that it wasn't true. And I'm sure if he was some fat man who who wasn't big on fitness, they would have let it rock. They would have they wanted they would have uh, let him rock like they let Lizzo rock. <laughs> Crazy man. Crazy how when a fit man gets accused, he's guilty. Fat woman gets accused, she's innocent. Crazy, man. But listen, man. All of this is alleged. We're going to see how the case plays out. And I can't say too much on it. But listen, I didn't go too hard on her because it's alleged. It's not confirmed. But let that be confirmed. She might get a whole 30 minute episode. But it's all love. I love Lizzo, man. And I respect Lizzo. Great performer. Love to see it, man. Listen, man. <laughs> Yo. That is nuts. I can't believe that. And um, I, I'm, uh, I'm eager to see what happens. I hope this shit ain't true, to be honest. Because that's, that's just... And along, you know, on a serious note, along with all the other stuff that she was accused of, I really hope that shit ain't true, Um that's that's tragic if it's true. I feel awful for the dancers. And then you know, I lived in LA. I've been around celebrities, and uh, listen, a lot of these celebrities. If, if this is true, um, you know, a lot of these celebrities are not who they who you think they are. Just keeping it real with y'all. So I don't put it past anybody. I wouldn't put it past any one of my favorite celebrities. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, stay tuned. I'm killing y'all today. <laughs> All right, man. We have the Shade Room, who I've been critical of in the past. Um, uh, at least one or two episodes, maybe more. I can't remember. I got a lot of episodes now. Your boy, your boy, be working. So Shade Room posted a video yesterday. It was crazy. One of my boys DM'd it to me. He was like, yo, you got to talk about this, right? So um, <laughs> I clicked the video, and now Instagram lets you download the video, kind of like TikTok. So I saw it. It was straight bullshit. I downloaded it instantly, so I have it for the podcast. Um, you know, I, t I was on break from work. I think I took like a little nap. I woke up, started doing some editing. And I wanted to outline the podcast. I go to the comments. The video is gone. So <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? So listen, man. First and foremost, ladies, don't take any advice from the shade room. Nope. All right. Um, let's take a look at the video. The first video I saw that was deleted. All right. Let me tell you how I go from this to this. Because I use this, yes, Magitate. Magitate have your outside feeling like you got a lap band on the inside, okay? So it suppress your appetite. You're not going to be hungry. You're only going to eat like one time a day because who want to go back to this? Not me. I don't want to feel all woozy walking up the stairs and tired. Look at me. I can barely walk up these stairs, baby. So who want to go through that? Because I want to be like this, always fine, slim, and trim, okay? Because the magic tape got me looking all gorgeous because I never want to go back to that. And I always want to have... <sighs> I'm not sure what them comments said, but I know it was a mess, Okay. Two things I wanted to point out before, okay? Maybe you woozy walking up the steps because you out of shape. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? You, you look like you struggling walking up the steps because you not building muscle. You have no cardiovascular. You probably eat trash, I'm sure. Okay? And the reason I know that is because I saw a little bit of... Belly, belly? I know I saw some. Belly, belly. So look, that's why you uh, woozy and, and all dizzy walking up the steps. So, 
One more time. Belly deli. All right. <laughs> that belly deli. Now let's check out the second video. So the that first one I just showed was deleted. I'm not sure why they deleted it. Like I said, I didn't see the comments. I didn't see nothing. But here we go. We got a second one uh, that they posted. I guess it was today. And someone sent this to me too. So let's check it out. Okay, ladies, let's get into this. Meditate. Are you ladies trying to lose weight? For the summer, for the winter, it doesn't matter what time you start, as long as you start to losing this weight. As you see the top video, I was 210 pounds, and now I am 165, ladies, only because of my magic tape, okay? Yeah, what you do is you apply the tape on, and what it does is it suppress your appetite. You will not be hungry. You're going to start eating small portions. It's going to get to get you to your weight loss goal. I promise you, once you put this tape on, you're going to be like, yes, I look so good in my clothes. I am fine. Also, I forgot to tell you, you can wear up to 10 days. It's totally up to you on how long you want to wear. You can wear it two days, three days, four days, 10 days. It doesn't matter. You just keep it dry. When you keep it dry, it's longevity with the magic tape, okay? This is the bomb. It's a life changer. It's nothing compared to a corset or a waist trainer. You going to love your results once you take this magic tape off. Get you some, ladies. <laughs> ladies, I know y'all not falling for that. First of all, um, ladies, anytime you hear somebody say, get in shape for the summer or get in shape for the winter, straight bullshit, okay? You should get in shape for your overall health. Now, will there be times of the year you might fall off opposed to other times of the year? Yeah, that's typical. That's fine. But listen, don't ever listen to any advertisement advising you to get in shape for one part of the year or one time of the year. Like, that, that is just, that's, that's going to mess you up. And I see it happen to girls all the time, okay? I understand summertime comes, birthdays come, vacations, kids, got stuff going on. Of course, you might fall off a little bit, but you, you still got to maintain some level of shape. First of all, next thing. She says she went from 210 to 165. Okay? That's a big jump, okay? What is, how many pounds is that? The 40... Was that yeah forty five pound yeah forty five pounds a forty five pound jump now if you think you about to just lose forty five pounds quickly you're out of your mind and if she really did use that tape and was eating one time a day basically starving herself. You lost that 45 pounds because you starved yourself, not because it's some goddamn tape. Come on, y'all. Y'all can't be falling for shit like this. I think at this point in 2023, we've exposed so much of this bullshit, me and other fitness influencers, that you can't fall for nothing like this. That's why you lost the 45 pounds, starving yourself. That's the worst way to lose weight. Ladies, don't ever do that. I know I told y'all that on this podcast before, but we might have some new ladies who never watched this. Worst way to lose weight, all right? Another thing, too. She's talking about keep the tape on for four days, five days, six days, seven days, eight days, nine days. What? What? What are you talking about? So you're not going to shower? You're not supposed to sweat? What in the hell is going on? And then that can't be good for your organs, uh, your internal organs and all your insides pushing them together like that, holding that tape on? Y'all got to be kidding me, Shade Room. Shade Room. Your audience is probably 98% black. And y'all feeding us this bullshit. That's what I, talk, I talked about, the, the men's surgery a couple months ago. And now this bullshit. First y'all tried to target the men with that bullshit. Now y'all targeting the ladies with this? Man. Nope. That's crazy, man, for, for to have such a big platform. And it's going to be women believing this shit and women buying it, dog. Straight scamming. It's terrible. And, you know, I had a, I, I talked to a few people this week, you know, about my podcast. And they basically telling me to keep my mouth shut and let people look like, like, nah, bro. So, somebody's going to see this and get educated off of it. That's why I do it. I'm not, I'm listen, we're not letting that shit fly, bro. We're not letting that shit fly. That's, that's ridiculous. 
I mean, um, and then the next, uh, you hear her talking. She's not even speaking clearly. I don't even know if she's saying complete sentences, enunciating her words. Not that I have the best grammar or the best speech, but you can understand what I'm saying. She's stirring her words like she's drunk. <coughs> Is that somebody you want to take weight loss advice from? <laughs> I mean, like, just come on, y'all. Like, I, I, I don't, anything, whether it's uh, weight loss or, you know, just teaching me something about business, teaching me something about personal development. If they're talking like that, I am not listening. I could barely understand what she was saying. Go bike tonight. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> she must be from down south. And I got friends from down south. And they don't sound like that. <laughs> like, they got country accents and all that. And they don't sound like that. Um, but yeah, ladies, listen. Be careful. That's a whole bunch of bullshit. Um, man, I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in shock that these big platforms are promoting things like this. And y'all let me know in the comments if I should tag Shade Room when I post this clip on social media. <laughs> They're going to be at my neck. They already done tried to cancel me. They Look, they called me every word in the book last week, bro. They called me the R word. They called me misogynist. They called me fat phobic. They called me, um, they said I was participating in respectability politics. <laughs> they, said, <laughs> they said everything, man, and... One big thing with me is like, I was telling the girl out in the parking lot I mentioned earlier, I'm like, look, man, I'm getting way more positive messages and people telling me that I'm helping them than people telling me that I'm not helping them or they don't like my message. So the people that support me and appreciate me, why would I change up or, you know, pipe down or not go as hard to appease the people that don't even like what I'm doing? That was, that is stupid. And she's like, well, you can keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to talk about you. Like I said, go get your own podcast, build your own following, surpass me, and then I'll shut up. But until then, we're going to keep giving this workout. Last part of the show, man. We, You know, we got a real talk segment for the week. Listen. If it's your first time listening, I do a real talk segment a couple times a week where we're now reacting I'm just giving y'all straight game, straight bars, and I'm in coach mode, all right? First thing, when you get on your grind and you're trying to lose weight, build muscle, whatever your fitness goal is, you ain't got time for certain shit, man. You got to understand that you have control over your time. You have control over what you eat. You have control over your intensity in the gym, right? You're, you're, the, you're the steering wheel. Right, you're in control. You're the driver. You're the captain of your own ship. Okay, so nobody's making you go to a party. I had a woman today talking about how she ate some cookies because it was her friend's fault. Like, no, no, you don't have to eat them cookies, man. You tell your friend no. If that's your friend, they ain't, that's still gonna be your friend. I can't tell you how many times I tell people no. Like, they know how. They know what type of time I'm on, and they know how I am. It's a time and a place. If I'm on the grind, I'm not doing it. So listen, don't blame anybody for your poor decisions. You chose that. You chose to go to that party. You chose to drink that. You chose to eat that. You chose to scroll on social media with your time. You chose to watch Netflix sitting on the couch, getting fatter, not burning no calories. Well, you could have been outside walking, listening to your podcast or listening to Netflix or walking on the treadmill doing it. You're in control, okay? You don't have time for certain shit, right? Things got to be done with intent. You got to make your mind up. All right, I'm doing this after work. I'm doing this before work. I'm getting up in the morning. I'm going to cut this TV off. I'm going to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. I'm going to put my phone over there so I got to get up and turn the alarm off so I can wake up in the morning. Move with intent. You got it up in the air. You winging it. I don't know if I'm going to go. I might. I'll let you know. that you going to be sitting there with that belly deli and wondering why that belly deli is sitting right there and then you mad at me complaining about your belly deli? Come on, y'all. Listen, it's crazy. I always, uh, always use this, you know, when I start something new. Like, if you do this for a year, how can your life change? If you do this for one year, how far can you get? And a lot of y'all can't even commit a year of your life to fitness consistently and wonder why you fat for all these years you can't commit to one year 
And I'm not asking you not to have fun, not to have a life, but in the back of your mind, just think, what can I do if I stay consistent with a podcast for a year? If I stay consistent with my business for a year? If I save money for a year? If I work out for a year? If I ate clean for a year for 90% of my meals? If I didn't drink alcohol for a year, what would my body look like? What would that belly, belly? look like? Would I still be mad at that? Belly, belly? A year can change your life, all right? Next thing, change your perspective towards health and fitness. You're not doing this to torture your body, right? You're doing this because you respect yourself, right? You're doing this because you love yourself. If you love yourself and respect yourself, you're going to do what's best for your body. You're not going to harm your body, right? You can have some fun, right? But on the regular, putting things, poisonous things in your body that are bad for your body that are going to harm it, that's not love, okay? That you're, if, if you if you masking the pain or you dealing with something, you got to deal with that. We adults, you got to deal with that head on, all right? So remember, you're not torturing yourself. This is not to punish yourself for eating bad. You're doing this because you love and respect yourself, all right? Next thing, man. This shit right here kills me, bro. You got to work in silence, okay? You can't have the mindset where I'm on social media. Hey, I got a personal trainer. Hey, y'all, I got this and that. I got a da 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 And you announce it to the world that you got a trainer, but you ain't got no results yet. What? Right? I've had girls announce that, right? I've had multiple girls create a whole fitness page. I almost said the fitness name. I had to catch myself. I don't want y'all to know who I'm talking about. <laughs> but <laughs> you create a whole fitness page talking about this transformation you're trying to get. What happened to it? Where'd it go? And then I don't even see you posting pictures on social media. So you just quit and you gave up. You shouldn't have announced it. Let people see that you lost weight. Um, somebody ain't seen you in a year. Damn, you look different, girl. You look different, my guy. What you been doing? You got to lock in. Announcing to the world is not going to get you the results. It sounds great. You might be excited. You might really want to get this off you. But listen, announcing to the world ain't going to help you get closer to your goal at all. I'm telling you, I done seen people quit and they still fat. You look crazy when you do that. All right. Don't go creating some fitness page, man. Work in silence. You know, take a step off of the parties. Take a step off of the trips. Get, in your, get on your grind. Do what you need to do, all right? Listen, man, I appreciate y'all listening to the podcast. Another episode of the Less Brunches, More Crunches podcast. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Follow me on social media. Cop some gear. I got these, these green shirts in stock now. Red, black, yellow, pink, white. You know what I'm saying? We out here. I got a lot of new gear on the way. And um, listen, man, I hope you enjoyed the podcast. Appreciate y'all. Catch y'all on the next one. We out. This the best fitness podcast out. Stab it. Y'all influencers with a bigger following than me. I see y'all copying my shit and reacting to the same shit I'm doing. But I'm going to take it as a compliment.